Hey, what's up guys? DJ Lefebvre here with another tip to get you broadcasting on Zoom. I had two uh, big questions come up a couple times. The first one was, how can I get Serato DJ onto Zoom? And the other one was, how can I have music playing in the background while I'm talking on Zoom? This solution does both, and it involves... Um, Serato, if you're going to use Serato, and the other portion is Voice Meter Banana. Voice Meter Banana is a free software based mixing program that you can get from vb audio.com. I'm going to have the link in the description for you to check it out. So, and then I'm going to show you how to use it real, real quick right here. So, the first thing you can see is get it, download it, and, and there it is, right? It's on the screen right now. The first thing you have to do is get your mic in there. So, I put in Hardware One, you left click, drop down. There we go. Got my microphone. Picked off the microphone there for a second. Ah, that's funny. Okay, so you got your microphone set up. The second thing you need to do is when you download Voice Meter Banana, it's going to come with a bunch of different virtual interfaces for your computer. So the next thing that you have to do is go, if you're on a PC, go to the bottom right-hand corner, bring up your audio devices, your, your, your audio outputs, and find your Voice Meter um, auxiliary output um, selection so we have that that picked out right now uh, voice meter input VB audio right now that is the one the VAIO so what this is going to do is when you're playing from Serato it's going to be pushing it out and picked up in voice meter down this this VIO cord right here so real quick before I bring it bring it on the screen I'm going to start playing Serato and you're going to see that it's going to start thumping right here. You're going to see some some levels coming in uh, in your in your audio side. Here we go. We're going to hit play. There it is. So you've got that, and you've got music playing, and you've got you've got it thumping. The way the voice meter um, is going to work is all of these selections over here. This A1, A2, A3, B1, B2. There are the different sections on here. The first one is hardware input. This is A1, A2. Hardware input three is A3. Right, so when I click um, A1, that means that I'm I'm sending the sounds from here to A1. The the important things to note right here are the B1s and B2s. B2 is going to be our full mix out. So we're going to click on B2, and this over here on this section is our B2 out. This is what Zoom is going to be picking up the whole mix down. Why this is important is now I can control my my audio volume. I can turn it up. I can turn it down, and then right there is our our, our sweet spot. What you can do is when you when you have Serato playing voice meter VAIO, you can drop it down. I'm going to drop it down right now. I'm going to um, open up Serato. Now I'm going to hit play. And because I'm in Serato and it's playing, I'll go back to our voice meter and you can see how the levels are going to change on your side. There's really loud. There's really soft. And you can toy with it. And then you'll notice over here that your levels are up and down, up and down. And then I'm going to stop talking, and you're going to see the music only coming through. All right. So stop the Serato. Okay, so now you've got everything mixed down into one channel. You now know how to raise your volumes and lower vo your volumes. How do we get this in? So the thing that you have to do is this section right here, this B, you have to find out which one of these, B2, is your mix down cable your mix down virtual audio cable so when you open up zoom you go to the settings uh, selection and in the settings selection you are going to go into the microphone right here and find the drop down I, I have it selected as the voice meter auxiliary output and you see that i'm talking and the voice the sound is coming through so now I'm going to be quiet for a second, and I'm going to play Serato, and you're going to see that the, the, the noise is still going to be bumping. Just like that, and I had to turn it up a little bit because um, the volume was definitely decreased. Now, the additional tips always are uncheck automatically adjust volume, and then in advance, check this box that shows show in meeting option to enable original sound. Those are your two big, biggest important uh, settings that you can have right there. And then other than that, uh, toy around with it. You're gonna notice that uh, the, let me close the zoom settings here so you can see. In voice meter, the, these are, they can be kind of complicated, but a simple overview again is your hardware inputs here. 
This in using this format, you can now have a USB mic with your DJ interface while you're broadcasting over whatever it is that you're broadcasting on. So your sound, your voice is going to come through hardware input one. Now this could be a mixer too. You could you could have the output be from a, a mixer as long as you had that line coming in, a Pioneer Deck or or Newmark, whatever. You pick that as as your input. Your any audio you have coming in from ancillary devices that's software based. It, whether it's Spotify, YouTube, Serato DJ, Virtual DJ, they're going to come in over one of these two virtual inputs, whichever one you select. And then as long as you're in this row right here, you click this B2 is going to send it over and mix it all down. So everything we do in these first three inputs, in addition to the virtual inputs, you could have multiple. You could send it to B1 and B2, and then you, you can have stuff coming in on one line, stuff coming in on the other line, plus your hardware inputs, and then they all go out here. Now, say you want to monitor with a local speaker, then that's where the hardware out section up here comes into play. Click the down box, pick your, your monitor out speakers, and then everything is going to mix out and play right there. I uh, appreciate everybody who has stopped in, left a comment with more questions. Hope my videos have been helpful for you. And if there's anything else I can do for you, leave it in the comments, and uh, you know I'll, I'll try to help you out. Thanks for tuning in to Denville Radio. This is DJ LaFave, out.